like you've learned through three days so far? I think we got a really good team. You know, um, we're still putting everything together, but uh, guys are definitely carrying over a lot of things of that we're doing with the culture, um, with effort, uh, just just being disciplined with uh, what we're asking them to do. So that's what I've seen. So just making sure guys are doing that. But it's been very, very encouraging to see. What do you think the potential for improvement for this defense is? People know about what Levitt did at Colorado year one to year two. What do you think the ceiling is for this defense? Um, I, I, I think it's basically the ceiling for this defense is going to come down to us executing and then, you know, making sure we stay healthy. Um, going into year two where guys are, you know, at this time guys have been, you know, at, you know, doing the same defense has been really good. So I'm encouraged, like, when I watch one-on-ones, when I'm watching the safeties all day and just seeing them actually carrying over the techniques from one-on-ones, or I should say two one-on-ones from my individual drill. So, and I imagine that's happening at other position groups when we're watching it too. Just the stuff that we're teaching during tackling and you're seeing guys actually, you know, doing what you're asking them to do, keeping their head out of it and, and being, having their body in the right position. Yeah. Can you give an overview? Yeah, Coach Levin over here too, if you want him. Yeah. 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 How much of a key is <laughs> Ugo, what you guys are doing, just to, to better impress the team brains? I mean, Ugo's done a great job leading all summer. Um, so he's definitely going to be key, you know, and we, we just have him just, he's controlling the group, making all the calls and doing everything right. So he's, he's going to be very key, especially with, you know, some of the younger guys, making sure Javon Holland, uh, Nick Pickett getting back into the groove and stuff like that. Yeah, Nick's getting back into it, but you know, he was a guy you, were, you felt confident plugging right back in with the first group. What did that say about him and, and the experience he got last year and just the maturity, I guess, he must have? Well, what we have is an organizational chart. Yeah. So it's not necessarily a first group. Um, we just have guys practicing just in, in different positions, putting them with different people so they're forced to communicate with each other. But um, I feel great about all the guys. I'm seeing a lot of good things all from Brady, um, even from Javon Holland, you know, who's a new guy, you know. So it's, it's a very encouraging to see all these guys actually learn the playbook and then carry it over into the team periods. Have you seen some of those older guys been able to help the younger guys kind of get acquainted with new calls and uh, really help them understand the, I guess, tempo of fall camp versus spring ball? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, those those older guys have definitely been helping the younger guys with that. And I and I attribute a lot of to the younger guys have been doing a great job of getting in their playbook, actually following the older guys' lead. So that's, that's good to see. You guys have so many safeties out there. Do you, do you feel like each player can maybe have a, a different role at that position? It can be kind of matchup based in terms of playing time, in terms of kind of shuffling guys in and out? That's a possibility. And I mean, it's our job as coaches and Coach Chris, Crystal Ball asks us, make sure we find a role for everybody within our position group, whether that's on the defense or on special teams. You know, we want to make sure we are using all of our players. And then if they're going to help us play this season, we're going to make sure we find the best role for them. It seems like the numbers at safety are a little greater than at corner right now. Is it possible you think down the line that you could see a guy shuffle over from, from safety to corner? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. We, we want to find our best 11 guys and make sure that they're on the field to help us win. What have you seen from Javon and Steve, who are obviously two true freshmen in this first ball camp? From Javon, just you know, great cover ability. Um, you know, he's he's a he's a son of a, a, a coach, so his his football IQ has has been really really good at picking up the defense. Um, and then Steve, he's just gotten better with the techniques and then with the learning of the defense from what he did last spring, showing up in the run a little bit more and actually being a little bit more confident and making the calls. Javon's looked like he had a knack to force some turnovers. Is that something you guys knew? His was he doing that in high school? Did you know he had a sense of nose for the ball like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I've studied him, and um, I didn't know him, but I, I knew his dad because he was there in, in BC when I was there because he was probably about two years old. But um, uh, he just he's just a really heady ball player, you know. And 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 turnovers, we talk about this. Turnovers is something that's in you. You have to be conscious of it. And then he got out there and created like three three or four turnovers within the first couple of days. So. I mean, you, you have to emphasize it, and that's what we're doing when we do our turnover drills. I won't ask specifics, but you guys have the number four rated recruiting class in the country right now. I might have fallen back a spot, actually. But what kind of pride do you take in, in kind of the success you guys have had, especially in the Southern California area where you have a lot of ties, it seems like? I mean, you know, we're working hard as a group, as a coaching staff, to uh, build those relationships with those young men and their families. I mean, it's great. But to be honest, you know, that's what it is today. We wanted to stay that when on National Signing Day. And if it does, great. And that's what we're shooting for. So, um, you know, the Cali flock is awesome. And, you know, anybody who joins our family, wherever they're coming from, we're glad to have them.